Alright, so uh, today I want to rant about shitty post-processing effects in games. And actually, I do have an older video talking about lens flares, because at the time I was playing Battlefield 3 and I thought it looked absolutely horrible. And I still think it does, and especially in Battlefield 4, it still looks horrible. Uh, but anyways, we're going to cover the whole broad spectrum of post-processing effects. Uh, that includes, you know, uh, the, the usual stuff like bloom, and of course lens flares, I already said that, but you know, you got chromatic aberration, uh, insane amounts of motion blur, uh, lens dirt, <laughs> uh, and insane depth of field, uh, etc, etc. Et I, I don't feel like thinking about everything else because it just hurts to think about and look at. But, you know, this stuff is just bad. I mean, I, at least for the most part. I, I think that in small quantities, it's acceptable. It's it's playable. Uh, but anyways, when I first saw games using them to huge degrees, uh, and especially when they combine them with one another, I thought to myself, you know, that that's, that's kind of cool. You can simulate bad camera effects and stupid shit like that that no one really cares about and completely make the game look like crap. But, you know, let's not make this a trend. And you know what? It's become a trend. It's... <laughs> These developers, they, they use uh, all these different effects on their games, like outrageous amounts of bloom and stuff and all that. It's it, it's bad. Anyways, it, it blocks so much stuff on your screen, and it makes people's eyes bleed. And a lot of the time, it just looks like garbage. Now, uh, the main excla uh, ex exclamation explanation that I see for a lot of this stuff is that it's used to distract people from... Uh, you know, bad texture works and uh, bad bad graphics uh, otherwise. And, you know, I, I'm inclined to agree. We all know that the last generation of consoles is just that. It's the last generation and it's long in the tooth. And the hardware is complete and utter shit compared to the modern standards of any kind. So uh, the developers have to make up for the bad graphics and bad textures by distracting the gamer from seeing them. But, uh... You know, I, I, I don't I don't care about consoles. I, I don't own a console anymore, or uh, like the last gen consoles. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't own them because I'm a PC gamer. And I, I don't have such antiquated hardware, such as the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So I don't have to worry as much about bad texture work, even though sometimes it's still bad, or bad graphics, even though sometimes it's still bad. But one thing that generally does carry over is the post-processing effects and especially if they actually make the post-processing effects uh, much clearer and thus uh, much more stupid anyways uh, you know now now you know a, a good port for a game will actually give people the options to uh, disable a lot of this stuff uh, because you know I don't, I don't wanna see uh, everything just completely blurred out uh, whenever I move my mouse around on the screen and I, I don't want to see excessive amounts of blue because that just looks horrible. Um, but you know, that good developer will, uh, or a good good whoever who ports all this stuff. Uh, usually, it's not the main developer. Sometimes they, you know, they outsource it. Like uh, if you're Ubisoft or something. Uh, don't get me started on them. But anyways, a good port will give you the option to turn this all off in the in-game in the end game options and uh, you know sometimes they don't do that and the uh, games end up looking like uh, Syndicate or Bioshock Infinite on that one part in the night where everything is covered in bloom uh, and actually both those games uh, they have excessive amounts of bloom especially especially Syndicate and I'm, I'm sure that in the editing later I will add some uh, screenshots of that it's absolutely horrible it looks like your screen is covered in Vaseline and it's it's shit and it's covered in grease and it looks atrocious uh, I, I guess we do have the ability to turn it all off in the uh, any settings sometimes the configuration settings when you go go in and find and root through the files but you know I, I think that's bullshit we shouldn't have to be forced to tinker with this stuff just to make the game look good and I know that modders and whatnot always go through the files and purposely find stuff that they can tinker with uh, because that's cool stuff, but you know that's 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 mundane shit. That's not stuff that you need to change to actually get the game to look not disgusting. Anyways, uh, Unsyndicate, as far as I know, you, you can't even disable the bloom. I, I think there's some like mod or some setting you can change uh, that you can make it disappear whenever you sprint, and then when you stop, all it comes back. 
And that's absolutely retarded, and I don't think anyone cares anymore because uh, the game is bad. Anyways, um, anyways, I, I, I can understand the logic behind covering up the bad image quality of last-gen consoles with all of this stuff, but I, I still think that it's a dumb idea to put in post-processing effects that make you feel like a camera. Especially with all the developers saying uh, contradictory stuff like, oh, we want the player to feel more inclusive to the game, the player should be immersed at 30 FPS, and lens flares, and uh, this and that, and whatever. And they deliberately try to make the game feel more cinematic. And uh, we're using, you know, just well, why are we using camera defects as game effects? It's, it's backwards, and another stupid way for developers to spout my, uh, my artistic integrity and my filmic look. And my, my cinematic, my cinematic stuff, you know, uh, because they they couldn't make it in the film industry, so they went to go make their uh, order 1886s and stuff. Uh, but anyways, I I think that the developers need to stop with all this stuff, especially with the next generation of consoles on the line or the current generation, uh, whatever. Uh, we have newer hardware. That's the biggest thing here, and uh, you know, there's the whole stigma against like. 1080p nowadays, and um, I'll get to that later, and 60fps, and I'll get that later too. And apparently, uh, we have super-powered PCs and powerful cloud-based computing, or well, whatever stuff that these people shovel out from uh, from their assholes, these developers. Uh, they, they need to start being less lazy, and actually spending time with their games, instead of covering up with cheap and bad-looking uh, motion blur, depth of field, and chromatic aberration, and other post-processing effects. And especially chromatic aberration. I, oh, God, Crisis Three Daylight. It's just <sighs> whatever. Uh, but you know, e even even on that point, I think it f it seems redundant that devs will spend the time to make the game look bad instead of spending the time to make it look good and crisp. And I. <sighs> I don't know. I, I I don't know if it's maybe they they have a uh, restraint on time. They think, oh man, we can't make these textures look, uh, you know, a little bit better so people don't vomit. So we're just gonna cover the screen in Vaseline and cover it up so they can't really see it. Or we're gonna make uh, everything past ten feet um, look like fucking uh, uh, bouquet depth of field. However you pronounce. It. I, I I don't really know. Uh, look like uh, the depth of field there on like. Uh, uh, really uh, cinematic uh, cinematic set pieces and movies or whatever at, out, out, out from 10 feet and it just looks bad it just looks bad anyways that, that's me that's my rant uh, this stuff sucks I hope it changes uh, especially in the lieu of current gen consoles but um, I, I doubt it will and I was going to put a list here of current gen console uh, current gen console games and just whatever that uh, Still use all this stuff and look bad, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. Uh, anyways, th that's what I think. Thank you for listening to me bitching.